Hello, my name is Forrest. I am an Okapi. Where do you live? All Okapis in the wild live in the Democratic Republic of the Congo in the Aturi Forest. I live in a part that was designated the Okapi Wildlife Reserve. It is quite lovely here. Warm and humid with lots of trees to hide behind and plants to eat. It suits me very well. Are there any Okapis outside of Ituri? Yes, but Okapis living outside of Aturi are human captives and live in zoos. I hear they are fed a lot there and get medical treatment if needed which is nice, but they don't have much space to wander around. The weather is not what we are used to, and they are always being watched by humans with cameras which is stressful. We are very shy animals you know. Your coloration is striking and unique. Is there a reason you look that way? Yes, of course. Our appearance is the result of natural selection, just like all other wild species. Our rusty red fur combined with white striped legs make us hard to spot and follow within the forest. This is helpful because leopards are there that want to hunt and eat us. The stripes of Okapi mothers also help their calves to recognize and follow them. You have other interesting features. A long tongue, small horns, and a distinct smell. Can you tell us about those? Sure. My tongue is 12 inches long, purple in color and very strong. As you can see it helps me to reach and strip the leaves off of trees. My tongue is long enough that I can use it to clean my eyes and ears. I have small horns that are called ossicones because they are covered in fur. They don't help much with protection, but they do help us identify boys from girls as only male okapis have ossicones. My smell comes from scent glands on my feet which I use to mark my territory in the forest. Our viewers are interested in your family life. Can you describe this for them? Be happy to. Okapi mothers have one calf after a pregnancy that lasts more than 14 months. The calf stays in a nest and doesn't defecate for more than a month to avoid attracting leopards. Okapis can talk to each other using infrasound. We make sounds with such a low pitch that humans and leopards can't hear it. If you could hear it, it would sound sort of like <coughs> Which means, hey you, this is my territory in our Okapi language. Okapis are an endangered species. Can you tell us how many Okapis there are now, and how you became endangered? Well, yes and no. I don't know how many Okapis there are, but scientists guess there are about 10,000 total, maybe less. This means there are fewer Okapis in the world than there are human students attending Austin P. State University in Clarksville, Tennessee. Our population has always been limited by the size of the forest and being hunted by leopards. But our numbers are so small now because humans have been cutting down our forest to use the trees for firewood, use the land for crops, and to dig into the land for mining. Humans also hunt us for our meat and skin. Do you have a message we can share with the humans? We are putting this interview on our YouTube channel so people around the world can watch it. Yes, I do, thank you. We are worried that in the future there won't be any more Okapis. We know there are people who want to help us survive, like the Okapi Conservation Project. They could use help. The Congo is a poor country, and the people here sometimes don't have enough food to eat so they come hunting us. There are many wealthy countries in the world like Canada, Singapore and Belgium that have money they could share with the DRC to help provide education, food security and basic health care for the people here. If the people here had a secure life, they wouldn't have to kill us or cut down our forest home. Thank you for sharing this message and your story with us, Forrest. We wish you a long life and secure future. My pleasure, and thank you for sharing this planet with us.